Hey everybody, I've been meaning to get around to doing a little, just a look at the fat effects. This is another thing that came along with the step FX. And we've been kind of wondering if this was going to come into Logic, but it did. And I want to just talk about a few of my very favorite things about this. Now, for the most part, this is just another multi-effects type unit. This is going to be great for putting it on things like bass or even guitar to a certain extent or drums in some cases. But it does a lot of things in very simplistic ways. That means that you're going to be able to use this and get results without necessarily having to understand everything. For the most part, this works just like other things. We have LFO, low frequency oscillators, which control things like a synthesizer. They can modulate other pieces of this, etc. But there are really four things which I think stand out from other different types of units like this, which allow me to get a little bit more creative with my sound. If you understand these four things, I think that you're going to be able to really use this to do some cool things. Number one, we have this matrix up here at the top. And what this is, are we have an X and a Y, and each of these have two different things that we can control with it. And so you can add different parameters that you want to control as you drag this little dot and it becomes almost like a vector synthesis engine as you're going through different sounds that you've tied to using not only the selection here but also the depth to show how much now the reason why some of these are grayed out is because they're not active modules so mod effects here right there they're both grayed out if we turn this on those now become active so it's a clever way of showing you which things are active and which aren't. So attach things in here. And then you can use that to really create interesting sounds with this. Now let's come out here for one second. Because I want to actually solo that out. And I want to put this into touch mode we're going to push play on the transport and you can see that this was all written into the automation so we can actually automate complex moves here with the xy parameters that makes it very useful okay so that was number one the xy matrix at the top Another thing that we have is the ability to change the order of all of the units. So I can change, for instance, where some of the distortion units happen. So we have Bit Crusher here. Let's turn it, well, it's already up to 69%. But let's move this from the default of this patch out here to the end. See what difference that made just by moving this one. And that's because it is working before it gets filtered, before it gets squared, before the base gets enhanced, before it gets compressed and band rejected. But if we move it to the end, it's all of that stuff then goes through the bit crusher and we get a much different sonic sound. So don't be afraid to experiment moving these things around. You're going to get very different sound based on what you decide and what you select there. Number three, the ability to have depth even in a simplistic interface. What I mean by, check this out, each of these drop-down menus for the compressor, for instance, we have all of these different types of compression. For the bass enhancer, we have a few different. For the distortion... We have a number of different options. Even for the filter, we have this huge list of things. You're going to recognize some of these from Alchemy. And part of that is because this is a plugin that came along from the same company's Alchemy that Apple purchased. But we have a lot of different really cool options here. All of these give us depth, even though it's very simple. And so don't be afraid to come in and experiment. And with a filter, for instance, this is a great example. Filter, you think of this as like a low pass filter, or a band pass, or a high pass. But we also have down below bit crusher, down sampler, ring modulator, a tube, 
And so we have a ton of different options, even different than some of the filters or the, the traditional filter types. So get used to looking at each of those different options to make sure you're making the right choices. And number four, don't forget that even though this has so many things with it, that you just have one envelope follower, so it can target one thing. We have two LFOs, so you can target two things with those. And even if we have different wave shapes and things, that's all pretty straightforward. But if we pull open our modulator, and we've looked at this previously, but keep this in mind as you're doing this, that we can actually come through and learn a plugin parameter. And now this plugin, the modulator, will control that. So we can have tons of additional modulation happening because of the logic architecture. And so this plugin will now add on to our other LFOs and envelopes. And so we don't just have to stay to these three. We can actually add more and more and more to create whatever we want with this. Okay, those are the four things. Definitely check out this plugin. Use it on a number of different situations to learn what you think it's going to be best for in your particular cases. But share below if you have some kind of place that you prefer to use the FatFX and what you found it really useful for in your particular production. So definitely comment below and tell us what you've got going on with it.